YVR Airport is known to have a large indigenous art collection. Now, they're opening the first ever indigenous restaurant at an airport. Inez Cook is the owner of Salmon and Bannock, which already has a restaurant on West Broadway. She's from the Newark First Nation. Cook says that she was a flight attendant for 33 years and well familiar with making meaningful connections. It's important to have Indigenous representation everywhere. We're your doctors, we're your lawyers, we're your neighbors, we're right here, we always have been, and we have to have representation everywhere. I have the only Indigenous restaurant in Vancouver and the first Indigenous restaurant at any Canadian airport, and I would love to see Indigenous restaurants everywhere. Cook says that she hopes having the new restaurant at the airport will help travelers to be able to enjoy local and indigenous cuisine during their stay in Vancouver. We've been talking to Inez and the team at Salmon and Bannock for several months uh, because we knew that we wanted to have more local affair in our airport, particularly in places like this, our international terminal, and it just made sense given our commitment and our partnership with Musqueam that we would feature indigenous cuisine. You know, part of the dialogue is let's go for sushi, let's go for pizza. Let's go for indigenous. Now, I really wanted to try this dish. This is bannock chips and salmon dip. Surprisingly savory. Indigenous food sovereignty is more than the right to hunt and gather traditional foods. It's also being present on the world stage of cuisine and allowing that culinary culture to be shared as well. Now, at least here at YVR, that's beginning to happen. Vincent Papaquash, CBC News, Vancouver.